This week in Ottawa, Justin Trudeau did something that was fairly rich. He did a big announcement related to preventing foreign influences in Canada's election. Now, certainly this is an issue that is of concern to a lot of people. People are concerned about foreign influences influencing our democracy. I, something I'm concerned about and you should be too. But Justin Trudeau's solution to this issue was to appoint a panel of bureaucrats reporting to who? The government, of course, right? I just, I think it's really important for Canadians after seeing this announcement to look at Justin Trudeau's history in terms of protecting Canadian democracy and look at some of the things that he's announced in recent weeks that actually will in influence this outcome. So first of all, you'll remember that one of the first things that Justin Trudeau did when coming into office was he reviewed, and this is a very technical term, he wanted to review the standing orders of the House of Commons. Now that sounds really benign and boring, but you'll remember what he wanted to do. His proposal was to shut down the House of Commons on Fridays, so it should take an, a day away from the, the work that we do in Ottawa. Uh, he, he didn't want to come to question period, right? He only wanted one day a week of questions and many of you i think many of you signed a petition there were so many people that were outraged that justin trudeau wanted to take away um the ability for parliament to function on fridays uh, there was also um i i believe some proposals around time allocation of debate many of you signed petitions for this and we actually as the conservative party of canada we forced him and you helped us to walk us back so you know i've always i mean the proof's in the pudding here Justin Trudeau has definitely not been a gatekeeper of democracy, but then you start looking at some of the things that he's done recently. So you remember that he put forward a fairly comprehensive bill regarding our elections that changed our laws significantly. So first of all, under Justin Trudeau, Canadians essentially don't have to have identification to vote anymore. That's worrisome. Uh, to put it mildly, and there's been a lot of reports, really good reports, about foreign funding influencing Canadian elections. And under Canada's election financing laws, there's something called third-party financing. And essentially, under this loophole, funding can come in virtually from anywhere, unreported, and be used uh, to influence a Canadian election under our own Election Act. Repeatedly, we've been trying to get Justin Trudeau to do something about this, to close this loophole. Has he done anything about that? Nope, not at all, not one thing. So again, really Justin Trudeau, like really are, are you the best position to be the gatekeeper of Canadian democracy? No, but the most interesting thing is again, you know, this whole announcement, I think it was, it was reported in the Canadian media as a way to quote, stop fake news. But then we have Justin Trudeau starting a $600 million taxpayer fund that he is going to appoint the panel of journalists to, that he cites, sets the criteria for in terms of who gets the funding, to go to media outlets. So $600 million of your dollars, that's not an insignificant sum. I mean, like to put that into context, that could build a significant piece of transit infrastructure in any one of our cities. So $600 million by a panel of journalists selected by Justin Trudeau based on criteria set by Justin Trudeau is going to these media outlets. Like, f forgive me for being skeptical about being a gatekeeper of democracy, Justin Trudeau, but how, how, how does a government speak truth to power if they're managing funding that way? And it's... Again, if you're watching today and you're an NDP voter or you're a Liberal voter, you should be concerned about that. I mean, I, I don't think any political party of, of any stripe should have that sort of control over the Canadian media, and it's just wrong. The, um, the, the hypocrisy of Justin Trudeau was actually shown in the Toronto Star of all places today. One of, one of many um, instances that I could point to where actually one of these outlets actually busted him on a fake statistic. He was, Justin Trudeau and, and one, of his, um, one of his MPs were using a statistic around the number of 
housing units that they had quote unquote created and it was flat out false and a lie. I, I've done some fact checking for you this week alone. I had a, a journalist uh, here in Ottawa basically report PMO talking points as if they were factually correct and you know be able to debunk them. But the, the whole question of Canadian democracy and, and protecting our election is really important. And you know, you, you have to, Sometimes I think people think that there's this magic silver bullet to doing it, but with Justin Trudeau, you have to look at his intent and his actions over the last three years. Again, trying to change the rules of Parliament, when Parliament is open, what you can do in Parliament, the, the limitations on debate that we had to, we forced him to walk back, the, the $600 million for media, the uh, voting without identification, and doing nothing to stop foreign financing. You know, all of those things, I think, show his true agenda, and that's something that's worth fighting back against. So in the lead up to the election this year, as people are talking about outside influence and you know the gatekeeper of democracy, we should have a debate on that. I think that's really important. We should make sure that our democracy is free and fair and open and free of foreign influence. But to trust Justin Trudeau after all of these actions to do that, I think is a bit rich, which is why the Conservative Party of Canada has been opposing these uh, items very vigorously, will continue to do that. And frankly, I think it's why we need a change in government because, you know, Justin Trudeau, if you're watching today, you can't just get up in the House of Commons and essentially appoint a Minister of Truth or Wellian style and expect Canadians to believe you after all of the things that you've done to dam damage our democracy.